In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite USB-C dock for MacBooks and also PC laptops, and that is the CalDigit TS3+. Plus. Now, I did a ton of research before purchasing this dock with my own money, I might add, so this is not a biased review. And in my opinion, it is one of the best, if not the best dock you can get for your money right now. Plus, it even makes certain external drives perform faster when they're plugged into the dock versus directly into your laptop. More on that later. By the way, if any companies are watching this video and you send me a dock without an SD card reader on the front, this is what's going to happen to it. So to get started, why is having a good quality dock important? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Firstly, it makes it super easy to connect your MacBook or Windows laptop to everything you need with just one single USB-C cable. This will provide everything from Ethernet, more USB ports, and up to 87 watts of charging, among other things. You also have the option to connect dual extended 4K 60Hz monitors or a single 5K 60Hz monitor. This is really helpful if you're constantly on the go with your laptop, but still need to use it on a desk set up at home or at work. What's more, the CalDigit TS3 Plus is Thunderbolt 3 compatible, so you'll get those juicy Thunderbolt speeds and increased bandwidth for your devices. Secondly, a good quality dock will easily last years, so it's a buy once, cry once kind of deal. I always recommend paying a little bit extra for hubs and docks, especially ones that provide charging to your laptop. This is especially important considering there are some rumors out there that some docks and Macs are killing M1 MacBooks. Check out my video in the top right corner for more info on that. Thirdly, a hub or dock is almost essential in this day and age of disappearing ports. You can bash Apple all you want for reducing their ports on the MacBooks, but a lot of Windows laptops are also slowly reducing their port selection, although admittedly not as bad as Apple. Let's begin by unboxing the TS3 Plus out of its packaging and also take a look at the port selection. Okay, so here we have the CalDigit TS3 Plus in the box. So you can see obviously there it is Thunderbolt compatible. Just looking on the back, you can see some of the ports there. So as I said before, an extremely impressive number of ports. I really don't think this is missing anything except a HDMI port, but we'll touch on that later. So let's get it out of the box. So we get some stickers and some documentation. Uh, also get some kind of rubber strips there. I'm not sure what they are. We get a power cable also get a USB-C to USB-C cable as well. Now this is the power brick, which is absolutely huge. Um, but like I said before, this is actually going to replace the power brick for your actual MacBook. Um, so maybe not quite a negative, even though it is quite big. Have a quick start guide as well. Don't really need that. And then finally down the bottom, we have the actual dock itself. So it is relatively small. Uh, it feels quite solid though. So let's get it out of this plastic. And there you go. So the exterior is kind of like a metal. It doesn't really feel fully metal. It feels kind of plasticky. Got a rubber bottom there. Um, everything else is metal, uh, but you can see there it's really not that big at all. So let's have a closer look at this and do some testing. Okay, so let's check out the ports on this thing. So starting at the front, we have obviously a SD card reader. We've also got an audio jack in, a mic jack. We've got a USB-C, USB 5 gigabit per second port, and also a USB-A 5 gigabit per second port. On the sides, there's nothing except on the bottom. There's kind of this rubbery finish that you use to put on the desk. That way it means it won't slip. Moving on to the back, starting from the top left hand, We've got a Ethernet, RJ45 Ethernet. We've also got the DC in, that's for the power. We've got a digital audio out, that's gonna be for speakers or audio devices. Display port, that's a full size display port. USB 10 gigabit per second port. USB-C I should mention, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, that's where you can connect your computer. And also we've got four USB 5 gigabit per second ports. So. Plenty of ports on the back. I've really been trying to max this thing out. Haven't really been able to yet in terms of ports. So you're probably not going to be missing anything on the CalDigit TS3 Plus.
Now before you ask, no, this dock will not allow you to use two screens with an M1 MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, even if you use USB-C and a separate DisplayPort connection. For every other computer it works fine, but for M1 laptops currently there is still that limitation. You can get around this however if you really wanted to by buying a DisplayLink based docking system instead. So now let's talk speed. I tested each of the ports on the CalDigit TS3 Plus and have to say I was pretty happy with the speeds. I plugged different kinds of storage devices in and made sure to use the correct port for each device. I even tested a custom super fast NVMe SSD I made myself. Check out the video in the top right hand corner to learn how I made it. Now as you can see, when external drives are plugged into the TS3 Plus, rather than directly into the M1 MacBook Pro I'm using for this test, the read and write speeds are actually better. The SD card is of course the same, as the MacBook doesn't have an SD card slot, and in terms of transfer speeds, they remained pretty consistent throughout my testing, using the same 10GB folder. I will mention that Thunderbolt 3 devices can be a little strange though, they either work slightly faster or slightly slower when connected to the CalDigit dock, but this is almost certainly due to the M1 hardware and the actual Thunderbolt device I was testing, so I'll be doing some further testing on this later in a separate video. One thing I didn't mention is that the TS3 Plus comes with two small silicon rubber strips that you can attach to the side of the dock. This will allow you to lay the dock flat if you prefer. I personally like this method more than having it upright. So how would you actually use this dock in real life? Well, let's jump back into the studio and I'll show you how I have mine set up. Okay, so this is my typical setup. This is how I would say edit videos or work at an office. In fact, I did actually work in my previous job just like this for a couple of years and it is a very comfortable setup to have. So first things first, obviously we need a laptop. So I have a base model 2020 M1 MacBook Pro here. I'm just gonna plug it in to the CalDigit dock. So just a single cable and I'll do a little B-roll shot of just how much I've got plugged into the back. So I've got obviously the 4K monitor, I've got an NVMe SSD drive, I've also got Ethernet, a keyboard, a mechanical keyboard here, uh, which is just a Razer keyboard, which is actually really cool because it just connects using a USB-C cable. So if I ever wanna take this off and use it on another computer, I definitely can. I just need to unplug it here using any kind of USB-C cable. And then when I wanna come back and attach it, I just plug it back in like so and I'm good to go. I am also using a wireless mouse. Now, all the links to all of this stuff is gonna be in the description, so check it out if you are interested. Now, the really cool thing about this dock, as I've explained before, is it does have a nice port selection at the back, but also at the front, you've got pretty much everything you're ever going to need. So for me personally, what I do is I actually leave a cable plugged into the back, either a Thunderbolt cable or some kind of USB-C, USB 3.2 cable, uh, plugged into the 10 gigabit per second port at the back and I'll use a long USB-C cable like this or Thunderbolt cable depending what I need and that allows me to simply just plug in whatever accessories I need to here and then all I need to do is plug it in, set it down there and it's connected to my Mac without any issues. Now the other cool thing is if I have anything extra such as this drive from my camera, this is for the Ninja Atomos 5 external recorder. All I need to do is actually just plug this into the front like so. And you'll be able to see it pop up in just a second. Here it is. And that was very, very quick. And I can now start using this particular drive. And obviously once I'm done, I can eject it, take it out and I'm good to go. Now I would be surprised if you are gonna be using any more ports than what I have at the moment, but the good news is you've still got plenty of connectivity left on the dock itself, and you've also got a spare Thunderbolt port on the Mac. So if you do have some kind of Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 enclosure or external drive, you can still plug that directly into the Mac and get the full 100% speeds without any issues. And of course, if you don't need to have your laptop open like this, you can just shut the lid and you can use it like this. You can also use one of the laptop stands that have your laptop standing up externally like that, lengthways. Uh, I don't personally use that because I like to have my laptop open just because it works as a second screen. And sometimes also I like to just rest my hand here and use the trackpad instead of the mouse. 
So what about drawbacks of this dock? Well, there are two main negatives for me. Number one is of course the price. At 250 US dollars, it's not cheap, especially when you have hubs like the Anchor USB-C 8-in-1, which I reviewed in a previous review and gave it a thumbs up. However, for a permanent desk setup, I would definitely go with the CalDigit as it's extremely sturdy and well made, so I would trust it to be connected to my devices 24-7 and be able to handle a large amount of usage and workload. The second negative is that you need the power brick for the dock to work at all, obviously. I tried to get the TS3 Plus working with my Windows desktop PC, but even just trying to plug in an SD card and transferring some photos wasn't possible. The dock needs its own power source to do anything at all, which isn't a huge issue because this dock is, of course, primarily for laptop users anyway. So all in all, the CalDigit TS3 Plus gets the Created Labs seal of approval. It's gonna be a staple on my desk from now on and perhaps yours too. I'll leave a link in the description with the best price on Amazon, but apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.